An SEO plugin is a critical component of every WordPress website. A search engine optimization plugin functions as a technical translator between your website and search engines. This tutorial will guide you through the process of installing and configuring SEO Press, one of the most popular SEO plugins. There are numerous free and paid WordPress SEO plugins available online. I use SEO Press on some of my websites and have complete confidence in the plugin. It is lightweight, packed with features, and incredibly simple to use. SEO Press is available in both a free and a paid version. SEO Press Installation and Activation You must first install and activate the plugin. Click the link in the description box below to get to the SEO Press website. Click on the Get Started with the SEO Press button. You can start with the free version to get a feel for things and follow along. If you feel like you need more features, you can upgrade at any time. If you would like to start with the pro version, choose the plan that best suits you can follow the on-screen instructions. In my opinion, I think SEO Press is the most affordable SEO plugin. It only costs $39 for unlimited sites. Click on the plan you wish to start with and input your email. After that, you will receive an email with a download link. Download SEO Press and save the file on your computer. To install the plugin, log into your WordPress dashboard then go to Plugins, Add New, and Upload Plugin. Click on the Choose File and select the zip file you downloaded and click Install Now. Finally, click on Activate Plugin. SEO Press Wizard for Installation SEO Press has an intuitive installation wizard for configuring your website's basic SEO settings and preferences. I recommend that you run the installation wizard the first time you install and activate SEO Press. Navigate to SEO Press, then Dashboard. There, a welcome screen with a button to begin the installation wizard will appear. Click the Get Started button to start the installation wizard. Step 1. Import SEO Settings If you previously installed and used another SEO plugin, the first step is to import its SEO settings. If this is your first time installing and activating an SEO plugin on your site, you can skip this step, or, if you have previously used an SEO plugin, you can select the plugin you were using from the drop-down menu and follow the on-screen prompts. For this video, I will just skip this step, click on the Next Step button to continue. Step 2. Your Site in this step, you need to provide as much information about your website as it will be used as a knowledge graph for Google. First, you need to select a separator that will be used to separate post titles and site name on the search engine results. You can select any type of separator such as hyphen, underscore, or stroke. Next is the home site title. I recommend leaving it as it is. After that, you need to choose if the website is personal or a company website. Next, input your name or company name followed by your logo and all the social media profile links if you have any. Once you finish, click the Continue button. Step 3. Indexing Here you need to specify to search engines what you want to be indexed or not. I highly recommend avoiding indexing duplicate or poor quality content. The options should be enabled or disabled based on the type of website and the content you want to appear in search engines. Please note, the options will be different for everyone depending on the website type. Therefore, tick the appropriate boxes and click Continue. Step 4. Advanced Options Under Advanced Options, you'll find more settings such as showing or hiding the author archive, removing a category from permalinks, and showing or hiding SEO columns in the posts list. Select them based on your preferences. Once you finish, click on the Continue button. Step 5. Insights Insights is a premium add-on in SEO Press. It will help you with keyword tracking and backlink analysis among other things. It does cost $99 per year per site. If you think you need it for your site, you can just buy it. For this video, I will skip this. Congratulations, your site is now ready. Click on the Visit Dashboard button. Now let us go through some of the most important things to configure as SEO Press for better performance of your website. Titles and Metas the next critical step is to manage your titles and meta descriptions. Search engines use them to display your web pages in search results. Go to SEO Press, then Titles and Meta. Homepage Metadata You can begin by entering the title and meta description for your home page. On the Home tab, fields for separator, title, and meta description are available. Enter them appropriately using either hard text or the available tags. After you're finished, don't forget to save your modifications. Post Types Metadata 
customize the title and meta description formats for your blog posts and pages in this section. You'll find the title and description sections for posts on the Post Types tab. It comes pre-configured with default standard values. You can update them using the tags supplied or leave them as is. Note, if you like to have more personalized SEO titles and meta descriptions, the options will be available in your post. Page Editor's SEO Press Settings You'll notice checkboxes for various functions beneath the fields. Ensure that you do not check the first two, as they disable indexing and following of your articles. The final two choices enable you to display the published date and post thumbnail for pages or posts that appear in the search results. You can enable or disable them according to your preferences. For instance, if your postings are often updated, displaying dates and search results is a fantastic idea. Otherwise, it's better to conceal dated content. The same options are available for pages by scrolling down the page. I highly recommend leaving the default options as they are perfect. After that, click Save Changes to apply the changes. Archive Pages Metadata Similarly, you can manage different Archive Pages SEO titles and meta descriptions. This is accessible via the Archives tab, directly beneath the Post Types tag. You can configure metadata for Author Archives, Date Archives, Search Archives, and 404 Archives from this area. As with prior alternatives, you may make use of the available tags. Then, you can utilize the checkboxes to enable or disable indexing and display of archive pages and search engines. Taxonomies Metadata You can manage metadata for your post taxonomies, i.e. categories and tags. Here, along with the checkboxes, the taxonomies tag has a text space for inserting metadata. The settings are identical to those in the previous installments. Advanced You'll find checkbox options such as Noindex, Nofollow, Noimageindex, Norchive, and Nosnippet under the Advanced Settings. You do not need to modify anything in this section to get started, as everything is set to default. XML Sitemaps A sitemap is a file that contains a list of all of your website's web pages and content. You can generate two types of sitemaps in SEO Press, XML and HTML sitemaps. The XML sitemap is the one we require to optimize our SEO. It enables Google and other search engines to find your web pages more quickly. As a result, it is more quickly crawled, indexed, and ranked. While an HTML sitemap is used to inform users about your site's content and structure, you do not require it for the SEO of your website. In any case, it's a free tool provided by SEO Press that allows customers to explore your website. Additionally, you can specify which pages to include and which to exclude from your sitemap. Thus, the general menu allows you to specify which pages to include in your sitemap. You should typically allow XML sitemaps and XML image sitemaps. If your site has numerous writers, you can also enable the author sitemap. For the time being, you can disable the HTML sitemap. Following that, click the Save Changes button. On the same page, click the View Your Sitemap button to view the sitemap. Social Networks SEO Press allows you to manage your social media accounts. Essentially, this is where you can customize your business's Google listing, connect all your social profiles, manage your Facebook open graph, and manage your Twitter card. These settings are critical for establishing authority and verifying your identity on social networking. Knowledge Graph To begin, navigate to social networks in your dashboard's SEO Press menu. The Knowledge Graph tab is the first one you'll find. You enter your organization's and business's information here to inform Google about it. Simply select whether your website is for personal use or an organization, fill in the organization's name, and submit a logo. Additionally, you can insert your phone numbers, contact options, and contact types. However, they are entirely optional. After entering the required information, click the Save Changes button. Social Accounts you may enter all of your social media profiles on the Your Social Accounts tab. You can enter the URLs of popular social networking sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Enter the links to all of the ones you own and leave the fields blank for those you don't. Following that, click Save Changes. Analytics Another important feature of SEO Press is the ability to integrate your website with third-party tracking tools such as Google Analytics and Matomo. You may easily include the tracking ID for these tools here without touching your source code. General 
To begin, let's examine how to integrate Google Analytics tracking code into SEO Press. Navigate to Analytics from the SEO Press navigation bar. To allow Google Analytics tracking, click to tick the checkbox on the General tab. You'll then need to input your Google Analytics tracking ID or GI4 measurement ID beneath that. To obtain the tracking code, you must first configure Google Analytics on your WordPress website. Following that, you can specify who has access to the tracking. In an ideal world, you'd want to restrict access to all user roles except administrator. Tracking You can link to different additional services via their tracking IDs or codes in the tracking section. The most important connections are for Google Optimize and Google Ads, which are most likely not available in other SEO plugins. Therefore, if you have created an account with those apps, enter your tracking IDs. Additionally, you can add additional tracking codes if desired. You may include them in the header, body, or footer of your document. Scroll down to see checkboxes for allowing remarketing, demographics, and interest posting, as well as IP anonymization and cross-domain tracking. Events Additionally, SEO Press allows you to measure activities such as downloads and clicks via Google Analytics. To do so, navigate to the Analytics Menus Events section. Simply click the box next to the Enable Downloads Tracking option to accomplish this. Below that, add the file formats for the downloads, separated by the pipe symbol. Additionally, you may track affiliate or outbound links, which are links to other websites. Custom Dimensions In Google Analytics, SEO Press enables you to specify your custom dimension. This means that you can design a method for tracking data that Google Analytics does not track automatically. In essence, you may define custom dimensions to keep track of authors, categories, tags, post kinds, and logged in users. Simply select a custom dimension name for each element you wish to track from the drop down menu adjacent to it. GDPR Cookie Bar this part is beneficial for two reasons. One, manage visitors' consent on your website. Two, customize and create a cookie bar. Having said that, let's move on to the cookie bar, GDPR. Here, you'll find a plethora of alternatives to experiment with. Begin by specifying the location of the cookie bar. You can just use the preferred option, which is following the opening body tag. Following that, ensure that the option to obtain the user's consent for tracking is checked. This is critical if you are adhering to the GDPR compliance requirement. When you scroll down, you'll discover other settings for cookies. Additionally, you may provide the consent message that will appear on the cookie bar for users. Additionally, you may construct a complete cookie bar with an accept button, a close button, a cookie expiration date, a location for the cookie bar, and a color for the cookie bar. Matomo Matomo is now the final option in the analytics settings. It's a widely used user tracking tool that serves as a viable alternative to Google Analytics. If you do not yet have a Matomo account, you can skip this option. However, if you already have one, you can easily integrate it with your website using SEO Press. To enable Matomo tracking, navigate to the Analytics menu and select Matomo. To begin, check the Allow Matomo tracking checkbox. Following that, provide your tracking ID and the ID for your website. These values are stored in your Matomo Cloud account. There are numerous other options available, such as cross-domain linking, enabling, disabling cookies, and prefixing the site domain. Advanced SEO Settings The Advanced menu allows you to customize several aspects of your website, including image SEO, complex URL setting, Google Search Console, and Webmaster Tools Verification, as well as appearance and security. Image SEO You'll discover a variety of alternatives for boosting the SEO of your images here. The options are located in the advanced submenu of the SEO menu. There are numerous options accessible on the Image SEO tab. Ensure that the first checkbox, Redirect Attachment Pages to the Parent Post, is selected. When visitors click on your images in search results, it directs them to your website. If you wish to redirect viewers to just that image, use the second selection, Redirect Attachment Pages to their file URL. Following that, you may configure it to automatically generate image file names, captions, and alt text, and then check the options. However, we encourage that you write your image titles and alt tags. Advanced 
Advanced options allow you to make extra changes to your website's appearance and SEO. You can choose to delete the category and product categories from your URLs in this section. If you desire this, check the appropriate boxes. However, we strongly advise against it. Now, the critical parameter is the Webmaster Tool Verification for Google and other search engines. If you scroll down on the same page, you'll notice text fields for Google, Bing, Pinterest, and Yandex monitoring IDs. It's an excellent tool to have because it eliminates the need for additional plugins and eliminates the necessity to work with the codes. Appearance In the appearance area, you can specify which SEO press settings should be displayed in the backend of your website. Therefore, navigate to the appearance page and experiment with the available settings. At the top of your admin bar, you can disable the Noindex item and the SEO menu bar. This keeps your admin bar looking tidy. Additionally, there are choices for displaying or hiding title columns, meta description columns, SEO news, and the notification center. It is entirely up to you what you wish to reveal and what you wish to conceal. If you're unsure, you can leave them as is. Security. This tab allows you to control who has access to and edits the SEO and content meta boxes, as well as the SEO Press SEO Settings page. Meta boxes for SEO and content analysis are primarily used to write blog articles and develop pages. As a result, you'd want to grant them access to your website's administrator, author, and editor pages. As a result, you may wish to restrict their access to further responsibilities. Click the checkboxes next to contributors and subscribers to do so. Additionally, on the same page, you'll find an opportunity to grant access to your SEO press settings to different user roles. We recommend that you leave them all in check to prevent any other user role from accessing them. This is because the administrator of your website should be in charge of the SEO settings. After that, don't forget to click Save Changes. Tools the Tools section contains options for integrating with page builders, importing and exporting plugin configurations, importing metadata from other SEO plugins, and resetting your SEO press settings. Certain of these configurations may require you to work with codes. It's preferable if you're familiar with some of WordPress technical components. Anyway, let's take a quick look at each of them. Compatibility Center the SEO Press Compatibility Center makes it simple to integrate SEO Press with other popular page builder tools for automatic title and meta description generation. However, we strongly advise against it. Due to the fact that page builders are based on shortcodes, this may have an effect on your site. To make it function, you may need to modify your theme's code, which I do not recommend for novices. Settings Following that, on the settings page, you may export and import SEO press settings for multiple domains. Assume you've customized your SEO press settings on one of your websites in a particular way. Furthermore, you wish to apply the identical changes to another website. Then you may export the settings from the first site and import them into the second. To accomplish this, sign into the website whose settings you wish to export. Following that, proceed to SEO, Tools, then Settings, then click the Export option. This creates and will save JSON file on your computer. Plugins Following that, there is the Plugins menu, which allows you to import SEO settings and post information from other SEO plugins. To import the data, then, select the plugin from which to import data. Reset The Reset tab is the final item on the Tools menu. You may reset all SEO press settings and delete notifications from your Notifications Center from this page if desired. Bear in mind that resetting settings will erase all of your SEO press options and customizations. Therefore, proceed only if you are confident in your abilities. Otherwise, avoid the Reset Settings button. On the other side, you may occasionally need to reset the notifications. It's useful if you mistakenly delete a valuable notification and wish to restore it. In any case, these operations can be performed by clicking on the Reset Notices or Reset Settings buttons on the Reset menu. Conclusion to refresh your memory, here we learned how to install and configure SEO Press and took a tour of its key features. This may appear to be a lot to take in at first, but it's only a matter of time before you master it. Then, you may configure your website's SEO settings and procedures appropriately. Thanks for watching.